Arch or Fedora? The ultimate Linux debate. Today, I'm settling this once and for all with a real comparison, no fluff, just facts. If you want more Linux content like this, smash that subscribe button. Arch Linux is a rolling release DIY distribution. You build your system from scratch, minimal base, maximum control. Perfect for tinkerers who want the latest software and love customization. Fedora is backed by Red Hat, offers cutting edge tech with rock solid stability. Six month release cycles, easy installation, GNOME integration out of the box. Great for developers and users who want innovation without the hassle. Installation. Arch is manual terminal based setup, you choose everything. Even with the new Arch install script, it's still technical. Fedora has Anaconda, a graphical installer that just works. Hardware auto detection, simple partitioning. Fedora wins for ease. Arch wins for learning Linux deeply. Package management. Arch uses Pac-Man Lightning Fast, simple syntax. The real killer is the AUR with over 79,000 user packages. Literally everything is available, proprietary drivers, niche tools, you name it. Fedora uses DNF, which is solid but slower. Official repos are more restrictive, mostly open source only. You'll need RPM Fusion for codecs and non-free software. For package availability, Arch dominates. Update model. Arch is rolling release one install, continuous updates forever. No version upgrades ever. But here's the catch. Bleeding edge means occasional manual intervention when things break. Fedora releases every six months with 13 months of support. More stable, but you need to do version upgrades. Arch is convenient long-term. Fedora is safer short-term. Documentation. The Arch wiki is legendary, the most comprehensive Linux documentation anywhere. Even Ubuntu users check it for solutions. Fedora's wiki is more developer-focused, less beginner-friendly. For learning and troubleshooting, Arch's documentation is unmatched. Stability versus bleeding edge. Fedora strikes the balance. New features tested properly before release. Red Hat's enterprise experience means fewer system breaking updates. Arch gives you software the day it's released upstream. Faster access to features, but higher risk of instability. Choose based on your tolerance for troubleshooting. Bottom line, choose Arch if you want maximum control, the latest software instantly, access to literally any package through AUR, and you enjoy learning Linux from the ground up. Choose Fedora if you need a production-ready system now, want corporate back stability, prefer easier installation, and value your time over customization. Both are excellent choices, it's about what you value more. Links to both distros in the description. Which team are you on? Drop a comment. Like the video, subscribe for more Linux battles, and I'll catch you in the next one.